Now, I've read the manga for this, and I'm going to be doing a video comparing the two. So if that's something you want, then stay tuned. But for this video, we'll just be talking about the movie itself. I absolutely loved the love story between uh, Yuta and Rika. It was a tragically twisted love story where uh, she died at a young age. They were posed to uh, be married to each other. And then uh, she is cursed to him to protect him. So anyone that wants to get close to him or anything like that, he can't have because she will literally rip them apart. Brutally. Awesome. And you have like um, Gojo kind of bring him into school, introducing him to everything like the sorcerers or all the powers, the weapons and stuff like that. But it didn't feel too crammed at any point. It was, it all got like a, its own little bit and it was like explained and it was like developed and stuff like that. So it wasn't just like bam, 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 information overload. Yeah. Um, even the bad guy actually got quite a lot of development in this. I wasn't really aware like much about him. Of course I have read the manga um, the series, not just Zero. So, to actually have him on the big screen, actually let bit, be a bit more developed and a bit more personality, it actually helped, and I actually enjoyed him in this. Uh, I can't remember what his name is, but he was pretty cool in this as well. Especially like his little um, his little group that he had. They were interesting to see. I would love to see more of them. I have no idea what the kind of religious group cult is, whatever you want to call it, but he was definitely a standout in uh, in my cinema. I actually got the um, you know the tuna mayo, mayo guy who can't talk. Um, I had a guy just like that next to me. That was quite cool. I had a little panda. Um, I should have really got a picture of it, but it was it was cool. It's always cool when you go in the cinema and you know there's we're watching anime and like people are dressing up. It's it's awesome. You know it's just a good time. But back to the movie. Uh, the animation in this was absolutely stunning it was it was literally on par with like mug and train like all the fight scenes were just crisp and they were just gorgeous to look at one thing that helped as well is that there wasn't a lot of talking uh during the fight scenes so because i watched this in um subbed i wasn't necessarily going uh, 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 all the way through it you know i could actually like read a bit and then like literally they'll just fight and they won't say anything during it so I, I appreciate that. I appreciate when they kind of do that in movies because if you are kind of if you are a sub watcher, then you're gonna need a bit of time to kind of go up and down and up and up and down and up and down and stuff like that. And you are gonna miss either some of the action or some of the things they're saying. And of course, you know, they are there together to build off each other, so you're gonna miss a bit of the experience. Speaking of which, Rika, she sounded terrifying. Like the voice actress really got that down. Like. She was like this sweet, innocent girl, but when she was like in the curse form, she was she was sinister. You could just feel like the blood lusting the inside of her, and it was awesome. I also liked the uh, design that she had; that was superb. Like the the art that they put on this was fantastic. Like it looked grotesque. It looked like it looked like powerful when you see something like bam, um, but not like the overly muscle like kind of stuff you usually get in anime. Like this. Rika was quite slick and quite monstrous. I loved it. I loved every second of it. They kind of uh, revealed something quite early on, which kind of lost the impact of the ending. Because I really, really like the ending to this story, but because the reveal was quite early on, when we got to that stage, it didn't impact me as much as it probably should have. I definitely think if they left it the way it was, it would have worked a lot better. The fight in the city was interesting that was quite unexpected as well it was nice i, pre I appreciate it it, ga it gave us a little bit more time to kind of get a breather from uh, the action between rika and um yuta fighting the um big bad so you know we actually get a bit of a breather you can actually enjoy it a bit more because sometimes if you have like an intense fight and it's going on for a long period of time you just kind of lose focus i i I know I do. Like if I'm watching like a, a car scene chase or something like that, and it's just going on and on and on, and just like I start daydreaming. <laughs> so I'm glad when you have like a little breather like this because it makes me enjoy it a bit more. After seeing this movie, I definitely would like to see a bit more. I haven't actually watched the anime yet. If if you guys think that I should watch the anime, just let me know, and and I'll give it a go because it's one of the things that I, I want to do, but I haven't really like. I'd like time to do it. I'm still getting up to date with the manga. I read volume 10 today and it was 
it was pretty good. It was pretty good. That's something else I'm also planning to do a video on. Like, there's so many different videos, like Jiu Jitsu guys, and I'm just going to be. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I, I, I really, really had a good time watching this movie, and I'm actually going to go watch it again. Uh, I know they're doing an IMAX showing and stuff like that, but being it's sub as well, I'm not too sure. If it was in dubbed and it was an IMAX, I'd definitely go see that because I'd be able to appreciate it a lot more. But being that IMAX has the massive screen, so you're going to potentially lose even more because there's much more to um, to look at because like, the screen's going to be like, right down there and you're going to be looking like, oh, okay. Very, very good movie. I'll, I'll definitely recommend watching it. I would say it's probably one of the best... Well, it is the best anime movie that I've seen this year. Um, but that's not very hard. There's only been Bell and um, seeing a bit of Harmony. What was weird when going in there was seeing the Crunchyroll uh, logo as opposed to the Funimation. I know they did the whole rebrand thing, but I didn't expect it to be that quick. Like, Funimation's completely, like, gone. But yeah, has anyone else had a chance to see the movie yet? Are you guys um, planning to see it soon? Um, let me know. And I'll... Uh, Catch you next time. See ya.